Welcome to the island. While we're here, let's find out how our earnings and spendings contribute to the country's gross national product. In this video, we will refer to both gross national product and gross national income. We say that GNP or GNI is the market value of a country's total production of final goods and services, including income from abroad, in one year. GNP measures the total value of income earned by its citizens, regardless of location. So if you're working from abroad, the money you send back home is part of the country's GNP. To get growth rate percentage, we subtract GNP year 1 from GNP year 2, divide the difference by GNP year 1, then multiply the quotient by 100. One way to measure GNP is at current prices and constant prices. We call them nominal GNP and real GNP. The greater the difference between nominal GNP and real GNP, the greater the inflation. Potential GNP, on the other hand, is the estimated total production of the country based on the productivity and capacity of its workers, their working hours, machinery, technology, and natural resources. These are the economic goals of the country for the year. We get actual GNP when we measure the total value of goods and services produced in one year after utilizing machinery, workers, technology, and natural resources. It is good to measure actual GNP versus potential GNP because it shows if the country is efficient and effective in using its workers, machinery, technology, and natural resources. One approach to measuring GNP is by industrial art. It adds agriculture, fishery, and forestry, industries, services, GDP, and net primary income from abroad to the GNP equation. Another approach is by final expenditure. It adds government expenditure, our personal consumption, business expenses, net exports, that is exports minus imports, plus net primary income from abroad, statistical discrepancy into the GNP equation. An approach to measuring national income is by factor income. It adds government revenue through taxes, business profits, wages, salaries and earnings, interest income from assets or investments, corporate earnings, capital consumption allowance, and indirect business taxes. While GNP tells us about the health of our economy, it does not include information like the underground economy or services that are not taxed, the informal sector, like babysitting and childcare. But we're going to leave that problem with economists. I hope you learned something today. I'll see you next time.